So, 100 days doing 100 questions, can you do it? Well, I've got some advice to really help you get through this so that you can complete the challenge because this is important for you. This will make you better at doing exam questions. It will help revise the content you've already learned. And that means you can really concentrate after Christmas in looking at the year 13 content and actually making sure that you're ready for the exams. So I've got three bits of advice. Now, the first thing is that to get through this, you have to have the motivation yourself, not because you're being told to do it by your teachers, you need to want to improve your application and therefore your end result. And it might be that you've got a big goal in mind. Maybe it's getting to university where you need a certain grade. And if you want it yourself, then you've got to put in the work to actually work hard to get through this. Because ultimately, you're the one sitting the exam, nobody else can make you do the work, and you've got to have that little bit of extra motivation to get you up in the morning doing these questions. And talking of that, my second bit of advice is to get into a routine so that you just do the same thing every day. Now, what I'm talking about there is maybe print out the paper beforehand, have it laid out on the table, and when you get up in the morning, maybe set your alarm an extra 10 minutes early, the first thing you do is you do a question. Now, it could be about physics or one of your other subjects, but if you've got everything laid out and you do it first thing in the morning before you do anything else, it will soon become part of your daily routine. Just like you do your teeth at the same time every day, you probably plug your phone in to charge before you go to bed. These are things that you just do without thinking about it. And if you can do these questions as part of your daily routine, then suddenly you'll find that you're not having to think about it. You get up, you do the question, you've got a small win for the day, and that means that it's gonna keep you motivated and keep you going. So it's really important to get in a routine. Now the third thing to do, and I think this is what's really important and this will get you through the challenge, is you've got to make it public. Tell somebody else that you're doing this 100 day challenge and that means if you don't do it, you're letting them down. It's almost like if somebody says, I bet you can't do that. People are kind of work quite hard to actually say, look, I can do this. If you tell somebody that you're doing this 100 day challenge, maybe your teachers, maybe your parents, maybe some of your friends at school, then that means it's not just a secret thing that if you give up, it doesn't matter. Tell somebody about it and that will keep you motivated to work hard. So maybe when it gets to day 15 or day 55 or day 90, you think, well, do you know what? I can't kind of let them down. I can't give up now. I've got to get on to the end. Now, the reason this is important is because I want you to get better at physics and your other subjects, and you've got to work hard now, not just leaving it till a month before the exams where you start cramming things because, you know, that's not going to change much. You've got to work consistently and hard all the way through year 13. Because ultimately, it's going to be a bit of a difficult year. There might be more absence. There might be, you know, issues with the whole coronavirus thing. And year 13, some of the concepts do get a little bit tricky. So if you can start working hard now, you're going to get into good routines, into good habits. And that means as you go into your kind of final preparation for your A-levels, it's suddenly going to be just the same as what you're doing now. So you're already working hard. And you don't need to make big changes. I'm talking about maybe 10 minutes a day doing this on top of your other work. And that is something that's achievable. So to stay motivated, to keep doing it, you've got to have self-motivation. You've got to have a routine that you're in. And also you need to make it public. And if you can do those three things, then you can do this challenge and other challenges that maybe you set yourself. So if you want to find out more, head over to alevelphysicsonline.com. Go to the 100 day challenge page. You can find all the exam papers there. There's extra videos which I've sorted out for each week. And uh, yeah, basically make it public, tell other people you're going to do it. And I'd love to hear how it goes as you're doing the challenge. So until uh, the next video, make sure that you do subscribe to me on YouTube and I will see you soon. Thank you.